Imagine a world without wars, crimes, violence, accidents, diseases, pandemics, unhealthy lifestyles, pollutions. Well, in short, a world without everything that can cause death, like heaven. Will humans be eternal then? Can humans be mortals? Will we be living forever in that case? Hmm. Before answering that question, I would like to proudly display my qualification. Yes, it's Curious Anxious Googler, also called as CAG, by the way. Coming back to our question, how long can humans actually live for? In religious texts and mythology, some people have lived for centuries or even millenniums. Methuselah lived for 969 years. Is it ever possible to live that long? In short, the answer is no. Even if the world is without wars, diseases, pollution and all the negative things that aids death, there is one small process that will kill us with time and it's called aging. As you know, the human body is made up of trillions of cells. These cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs and as we age, our cells also age. Oh, well, not literally, but in a way. And hence, our organs also become old and start causing problems and eventually death. It's as if we all have a biological clock and when it ticks, we have to leave. So how long can a human being live for? Before the 19th century, the average life expectancy of a human globally was less than 40 years. And now in 2019, it's almost 73 years. In the modern world, Jean-Louis Calamin holds the title for the oldest person ever to have lived on this earth. She lived for 122 years and claimed olive oil, port wine and chocolate as her secret to long life. Fun fact, she left smoking at a very early age of 120. The oldest living person now is Kane Tanaka, who is 118 years. Molecular biologists say that human can only live till the age of 115 and maybe, just maybe, it can extend till 122 at the max. Having said that, they also do believe that some technical breakthroughs can extend our lifespans to 150 years. So what technical breakthroughs are these scientists talking about? Ah, before that, a quick trivia. The study of aging is called gerontology and it just began in the 20th century. Thank you. Okay, coming back to the technical breakthroughs. First, stem cell therapy. Here, they use stem cells in our body to create other cells that are damaged, thus maintaining the cell count and saving our organs. Second, nanobots. Basically, it's using extremely tiny robots to repair your body. So they are like miniature surgeons which will be put in your body to fix the appropriate issue. Gene therapy. Now genes play a crucial role in determining your lifespan. If your parents and grandparents have lived long, chances are that you will also live a long life. Now gene therapy is basically editing your genes so that you live long. Fourth, 3D printing organs or organ printing. As the name suggests, it's basically printing out organs using multiple bio technologies. And now your uh, local printer wala cannot print the organs. <laughs> yeah. These are some of the technical breakthroughs which can only be afforded by a very small percent of the human population, maybe less than 1%. For the average person to live long, maintaining a healthy diet and exercising regularly is the only way to go for now. Yeah. So, to conclude, human beings are not immortal as we already knew before watching this video and they can only live up to a finite number of years. Right now, it's estimated to be a maximum of 150 years. Almost all the people watching this video won't live for that long, including me, as I too watch my videos a lot to increase the watch time. But if you want to live that long, hit the subscribe button and if you really hit 150, put down a comment below and I'll send you my birthday wishes. Fantastic.